Um, so, Reed, since I'm trying to keep you a week ahead, so you're going to be teaching Mansell. Mansell is, um, well, he's smaller than you, but he's uh, he's learning self defense. So I'm going to use Brock as my Uki to kind of demonstrate uh, some techniques. I'll go over some of the details and any kind of uh, obstacles that some folks have when learning. Uh, that way you can, you'll teach only one technique at, at a time, so this will kind of keep you a couple lesson plans ahead, um, and you can kind of watch and kind of give you questions you can ask. So the first one we're going to do is basically how to get, uh, if someone's in your guard, how to get a guillotine. So we've done this a couple times when someone tackles you or they run at you, you catch their head. But this is how can you set somebody up uh, when you're in their guard. So first of all, if their hands are here and they're planted and they're trying to get up or their hands are on your biceps, you can't grab them. So therefore, you need to start breaking them down. So make sure you always come up to break the head. Use your leg to pull them up. What you do is, uh, depending upon the direction their head is facing, so in this case, they're pointing to my left, take the hand on that side, bring your elbow and hand over, push your hand, and start pushing them away. What you're doing is you give yourself a little bit of space because I need to unhook my hand that's not holding the head will come up to my elbow as I push my hips out to sit up. Ideally, I need to get my back straight. If I, if I imagine my back is perfectly straight, I can come up around and grab, not a problem. However, if I'm down a bit, my elbow's up, but I got the hand in here, I may not be able to secure all the way by getting my hand in. So the higher you can get your butt back to sit up, to grab, and to pull up, and of course to lay back down to get the guillotine, okay? So, a couple obstacles that, that tend to happen. So, we'll go face this way. So, some of the things that tend to happen is people will start forcing the guillotine. So, the person is here, and I'm literally going to try to swim through. I unhook. I had to secure the head, and I'm trying to reach up and grab. A lot of big mistakes because they can frame back, they can push you back down, they can frame into you, they can set you up the pass for an arm bar. So keep in mind that you need to make sure that you have them broken down, at least a posture first. So best way to do that, use your legs and your hands, swim through, pull, control the head, pull them down. Once you un unhook, don't leave your feet on the outside. Leave one on the inside, that should give you a little more control if they try to roll you. Post here, the other piece, swim underneath the hole, use your elbow to push, use this as a shelf to help stand up. Now I can unhook here, Post up, I scooted my hip out, you mess up a little bit of room. This hand that's on his back, this elbow that made the shelf, I'll post up and I'll swim this around. My hip stand back in, reach right through. I'm going between my chest and his arm. I'm going as an S grip. If I can, I'll just make a fist and I'll cup it, but it's really tight. I'm just looking for my own fingers, just the clamp. I'll lay back down, chest up, <clears throat> grab the head. And I'll pull. So read, <clears throat> that's your first lesson, is, is just to get the guillotine. Second lesson, what happens if the guillotine fails? So Brock is in the same spot. Oh, read, Brock, Brock, read. So this is the same thing. So what happens is I get in my guard. He's got a good base. This all can happen from the punch series. So he's trying to punch me, and so I have to, when I swim through. So at this point, he's exhausted. So I decided to go ahead and try for a guillotine. Or he starts trying to back his way out. So this is when he'll actually start pushing off. I actually kind of, I follow him coming up. That gives me a chance to sit up and then try to roll and grab. So, turn sideways. Right there. So two things. So what happens if I hook his head and it fails? One way he, he can trap me is he actually will drop back down on me. So, yep. <clears throat> this hand is trapped. It's not going anywhere. He actually just blocked it. So it's just hit, hit, hanging underneath his armpit. What I'll do is come back underneath, squeeze my legs. This hand goes back under his arm. This comes out and I push. Roll my hips towards the front. This is just to hold the arm secure. Break it down. You know this from here. This is going to be a Kimura. And I'll roll my body towards his head. Okay? Is that good? What? Is that good? I don't know. You, you tell me, director. Yes. Ah! 
just sideways. So, uh, different side. So, break down. We're in a punch series. He's punching me. He's exhausted. So he sits up. So I'm, I'm going to follow him up. I'm going to try to catch the guillotine. But when I do, he feels it. He just comes right back down top of me. When that happens, I didn't get anything. My hand is still just underneath his armpit. I never secured it. All I'm going to do is make sure he doesn't get back out. I'll put my guard in. His head pops out, but i got to force his head back down. This arm is going to get close to my body, my hip, so I can get under his armpit, and I'll push. What happens at this point, I need to use my legs. I'm clamping just because my legs are tired, but I need to get my hip out just a wee bit because I need to look towards the other direction. At this point, I use two hands, bend it, clamp, and I'll roll my body towards his head. Work a more. So Reed, Reed, you didn't tell me my hair is a mess. This is a part three in lessons. So this will be uh, failed attempt from the guillotine, failed attempt. So this is done the failed attempt from the guillotine. So rock screws down a little bit, a bit because I like the red. We shake hands because they're nice like that. So you come down. <clears throat> We're going to the punch series, or even not. So, but I feel I have a window here, uh, but, um, and I'm going to attempt a, a, a guillotine. So, in doing so, um, I'll unhook, I'll sh shift my hip out, come up, come up, and I'm trying to get my back out. What happens is he starts pushing back down. So, let's say that he's really close to me. I'm, and I, I and let's say I'm on my elbow, worst case scenario, I, ne I never get up. But, however, as I go to clear, his chin's tucked in. I never get under his arm, underneath his chest, but I get under his arm, his armpit. This is called 100%. I get up. It's going to go for the, come on this other side over here, Miss, Miss Katie. Or right, come over here. Come over here. So what I'm going to do, Reed, is I'm going to, my hands here, I missed the guillotine, come under his armpit. I'm going to push my body down so I can grab my hands and my lean back. As I lean back, this is a, called a neck. This is a neck crank, which means that it forces his chin down. So, and I don't even really need, need this hand. So again, we're here. He comes in. I control. He sits up. He sits up. He smells it. My hand comes underneath here. If I can stay right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to force my arm down, and this chin will goes straight down. So, we, if you have somebody who has is very long. So, a couple things you do. Make sure you have space for your hips. So, this is going to be for 100%. So, he's down. I got to shoot for 100%. I'm up. I'm extended up. You know what? I go for guillotine. So, I shoot over. I push him down. At this point in time, I'm going to unhook. Because I'm going to try to get I'm trying to sweep. I'm just going to force his head down. Hook. Grab. At this point... I'm literally just going to take him a bridge, hold here, and this arm, leg me straight, I'm going to bridge him over. And that's just because wherever his head goes, his body will follow. You okay? Yeah. Go right into the sweep, from here to mount. So Reed, um, you have him in your guard, if he's hugging you, or he's holding you, or you're able to pull him up, force his head down, as if you're going to go for guillotine. Take your hand, as you pour it, force down, you're going to come underneath his arm. As you do, put his head underneath your tricep. So as you push down, I'm going to unhook so I can reach, grab. When I grab, I'm not, don't do thumbs. You're going to do thumbless, or I'm going to make a fist. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Brock's got a really good width, so I'm just going to use here. This hand, this leg will drop. i got to bridge up. This will let go, so I come right into airplane. That's 100%.